Knock Knock is a Walter Lance Productions cartoon from 1940. This is directed by Walter Lance and Alex Lovey and written by Lowell Elliott and Ben Hardaway with a voice cast including Sarah Berner, Mel Blanc and Bernice Hansen. And this is quite interesting because this is the first ever Woody Woodpecker cartoon, but it's actually an Andy Panda cartoon. And this is only the second Andy Panda cartoon that I've seen. And in terms of being an Andy Panda cartoon, I quite enjoyed it. I liked the role that Andy Panda played here. Honestly, I didn't love Woody Woodpecker in this, based purely on this cartoon. I'm surprised the bird got its own series. But I did watch some Woody Woodpecker growing up, so I must have enjoyed some of the films. And I will continue watching more Woody Woodpecker, because... Obviously, I can't base my knowledge on one cartoon, but the point there is that I found the bird to be very irritating here. But it's interesting enough, Papa Bear was actually my favourite in this cartoon because there's a knock-knock at the door, but it's not at the door. But Papa Bear thinks it's at the door and he wrestles with the door and gets angry at it. And Andy Panda points out that it's the woodpecker and they spend the cartoon doing various things to try and get rid of Woody Woodpecker. And I won't say in too much detail what they try to do, but Andy Panda does do a recurring thing of trying to use salt, which was very interesting. But I do think Papa Bear's attempts were so much more interesting. Papa Panda, I should say. And I found that he was the, the star of the show for me. It's an Andy Panda cartoon introducing Woody Woodpecker, but Papa Panda was my favourite. So I don't know what that says about the cartoon, but certainly there were some good bits in this. The animation is absolutely fine. Woody Woodpecker is designed here by Alex Lovey. He does look slightly different over time. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with this version of Woody Woodpecker. He's not tremendously different, to be honest. But there is just a... He looks more angular. He looks less cute. And I don't know if that's why I didn't necessarily take to the character. Well, no, I know it wasn't. It was his personality that really annoyed me. But I feel like that's kind of part and parcel of the character. So hopefully over time, I will learn to like him as I spend more time with the character and hopefully develop a more emotional response to the character. But in this one, I really couldn't have cared less what happened to him, which sounds mean, but he is a, a cartoon bird. And the animation itself, beyond Woody Woodpecker, is very well done, no problems there. Andy Panda is a perfectly likeable character, but as I said, I definitely preferred Papa Panda. I just thought he was very funny. It's an absolutely fine cartoon. There's nothing about it that I didn't like specifically. I didn't love Woody Woodpecker, but I was interested enough to watch his his first cartoon, his inaugural appearance. So it's definitely worth watching if you're a fan of Andy Panda, if you're interested in Woody Woodpecker, if you're looking for a brilliant cartoon, but you have no interest in these characters, I'd say it's probably not worth it because there's nothing particularly special about it or anything that I thought was particularly well done apart from Papa Panda's outburst at the beginning. It's fine. It's okay. I didn't mind it, but I don't know how I feel going forward with more Woody Woodpecker cartoons. I guess time will tell.